Hi guys and welcome back. Bitcoin looks like that we could see here a major break by today or tomorrow to the upside but there is of course still a small downside risk until then and I will show you today the exact levels that, uh, that I'm personally watching and also where I'm going to take a new long position. So if you want to know where we can make some money in this crazy market then definitely stick around here smash up the like button subscribe to this channel and make some noise for the youtube algorithm by activating also the bell so that you will always be notified when i put out one of these really important videos so and now <clears throat> let's get directly into the charts here so here on this four hourly chart on bitstamp um we see that bitcoin as i mentioned yesterday came all the way up here to test this resistance level got rejected from that resistance area here in red and then uh, started to form somewhat of a w pattern which is not a w pattern anymore because we're seeing here now some sideways movement so but bitcoin has formed on a lower time frame two other patterns that are highly uh, bullish biased and i will get into them in a second what i wanted to mention first is uh, you guys saw that i was yesterday in a long position uh, when i saw bitcoin coming up i think i saw it coming up uh not so actually i have to go to the other chart already so i saw bitcoin coming up here on bybit uh i think it was here in this candle here in this candle yesterday where i saw it coming up no actually i think it was this one here yes so here this this week here in this week i exited my long position because i saw <clears throat> that i could be somewhat chopped because bitcoin was struggling to break here this level and stay above that um i did not get out above twenty thousand four hundred dollars uh i wanted to get out there and then when i saw bitcoin struggling around this level i looked at the charts and it closed around twenty thousand three hundred eighty ninety something like this and walked away with two thousand dollars profit yesterday from a re really quick trade that i made so i'm absolutely happy with that and um, i closed this trade because i wanted to see what's happening next year because i as i mentioned um thought that it was a little bit premature to get into this trade and that's why um <clears throat> i wanted to see a little bit more what's happening price wise in bitcoin before i uh, then uh, have a little bit more confirmation that we're actually going up here and open a new position. So what we are forming here right now is for once this ascending triangle. So where we have clear resistance and clear support for now. So as you can see, we have here this upward sloping support that we are right now as it looks like breaking. So but of course you can still may adjust it a little bit to make a little bit yeah so that's how i would adjust it so the support gets tested right now i believe um from what i'm seeing right now we could dip under it but i think it will be a fake out and we come back up here so and then if we treat this as a descending triangle then we see the technical target would be $21,430 approximately if we break it to the upside, which I think is highly likely that this is going to happen today. And that would be then also the point where I take a new long position here at 20,470. So, or <clears throat> you treat this here as a symmetrical triangle, something like this. Oh, let me adjust this a little bit like this. So then you see we are also at the apex and Bitcoin has to make a decision. Either way, Bitcoin has to make a decision to break it to the upside or to the downside. But from the indicators, uh, what I'm seeing, the stochastic RSI is about to bottom out here on the one hourly chart, on the 30 minutes chart, the 50 minutes is somewhere in the middle. Uh, but it looks uh, everything like that we see a potential fake out here, come back up and break it to the upside and that's what i'm waiting for so now of course how low can we go here when we're breaking out to the downside so i think we will find support at around this level here twenty thousand two hundred and fifteen dollars and see a bounce 
from there back to the upside. So here you see we are breaking down right now. So this can go on for the next hour, but I think then it's going to reverse back to the upside. So if we treat this as a symmetrical triangle, then of course the breakout would be higher. So then we are talking about a potential breakout. Let's say it goes all the way to the apex, $300 higher. So in any case, it, um, the confluence that I'm seeing here on the one hourly chart is that we go at least to $21,000, let's say $400, which also makes a lot of sense when we're looking at the one hourly chart at the resistance level. So that we have resistance coming in around here at $21,000. $550 because of all these weeks here where we touched this level until we broke it to the downside. So that should be the next uh, bigger resistance level after this resistance block that we should be looking at. And of course, I will keep a close eye on this area here, what's happening there, if we can just rip through that like we did on the way down or if we struggle there and maybe take then again some profits on my trade and reassess the situation. So I want you guys to be definitely aware of that. So, but as I mentioned at the beginning, everything looks highly bullish here uh, for me over the next couple of hours. So that's why I'm prepared to pull the trigger once we are breaking $20,430 here uh, to break it to the upside. So if you want to play it safe, you wait until 20500 and enter then a long position, of course, with a one hourly or four hourly close above that level. We want to make sure that um, this is a confirmed breakout and not just another wick going up and coming back down and then maybe continuing to break it lower. And then you are stuck in the trade or even, um, yeah, get liquidated or something like that. So, and of course, if you want to uh, take this trade with me together, guys, do it on Bybit. Bybit has still the $30,000 bonus with that specific link here. And also on BitGet, $20,000 also only with that specific link here. And when I going to uh, uh, make this trade, I will do this um, announce on Twitter. So if you don't follow me yet, then go here to AM Crypto Alex and start following me there. Uh, I put out there also a lot of content uh, every other day and uh, of course in my free telegram group where I also going to show you um, that I took then my next trading position. So here also on the four hourly chart here is nothing changed. Uh, you see from um, the trade that I would like to take here we are right now under the entry price uh, right now at exactly $20,500 because it comes from this support area here. And that should now act as resistance once we are above there uh, on the four hourly chart that is the final confirmation for you guys if we close the four hourly candle above that to get into this trade and then we can trade it all the way up to the point of control if you want to stay longer in that trade so that will be the ultimate target for me uh, around twenty thousand six hundred and fifty dollars so um, what i suggest to you guys is take initial profits here on the way up uh, based on what we see on the one hourly chart and then have maybe 25-30% left to write the rest uh, to the point of control here on the 4 hourly chart. So that's how I would going to play that today. So then also when we go here to the daily chart, uh, the, the hidden bullish divergence is still intact. We had a nice bounce here yesterday of that upward sloping support here, uh, which is confirming the hidden bullish divergence, but we still need uh, the final confirmation with a break here to the upside, getting over $20,500 and that resistance area here. And then of course, we also want to get above the 200 uh, moving average again. To give you some perspective, I don't have the indicator now here on that chart. Uh, the 50 moving average is sitting actually exactly here. So we bounce perfectly off that. Uh, back to the upside. So the 50 gave us support and now we are basically stuck in between the 50 and the 200 and I would like to see uh, the 50 coming up here again, getting a golden cross and continue the trajectory to the upside. So of course tomorrow uh, when the markets are opening we will have another CME gap uh, if the market continues to move here higher. So let's say we get today to 20,000, let it be only $800. So then we would have a CME gap of that size and we would be trading here 
around that area tomorrow. So then there's of course also the high likelihood that at some point we're going to turn around, fill this and then continue to go up here. So there will be ample time uh, to catch this. So if we coming back and revisit this level for uh, closing the CME gap and with all the uncertainty right now in the market and especially with what's going to happen tomorrow with all the banks and the Fed meeting deciding if they're going to bail out um, some banks here and how they now try to stop another banking crisis as we have seen it in 2008 will be really 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 decisive in what we're going to see here um, in the crypto market and the overall economy by tomorrow when they had that emergency meeting. Guys, that's it already for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you then again tomorrow.